Hey guys, welcome back to the Prometheus series. Prometheus is primarily a pull based monitoring system, which means that the target only needs to expose the metrics and the heavy work of fetching the metrics will be handled by Prometheus. However, in certain applications like bad jobs and lambda functions that may only run for a few seconds, there is a possibility that the Prometheus server may not fetch the metrics in a timely manner as the short lived applications come and go. How do we monitor such applications? That's our topic for this chapter. In this chapter, let's explore what the push gateway is, when and how to use it. So without any further delay, let's get started. For scenarios where Prometheus can't scrape metrics from short-lived applications because they don't exist after completing their work, Prometheus has a component called the push gateway. These short-lived applications can send their metrics to the push gateway which is like an intermediate store of metrics and from there the Prometheus server can pull the metrics. The push gateway acts just like a metrics cache. This push gateway accepts HTTP POST requests to push metrics which will eventually be scraped by the Prometheus server. In other words, the push gateway serves as a scrape target that represents the short-lived applications. Now, because these short-lived application metrics are stored in push gateway, even if short-lived application exits, we don't lose metrics as Prometheus scrapes the metrics from push gateway. Please note that this push gateway is particularly useful for collecting metrics from the jobs that do not have long-running HTTP endpoints. It is recommended to use the push gateway in certain limited cases. There are several disadvantages when blindly using the push gateway instead of Prometheus usual pull model for general metrics collection. One of the disadvantages is that duplicate storage of metrics both in Prometheus and push gateway. Enough of theory, let's see this in action. If you are following this series, we installed Prometheus with Helm chart. The push gateway is included in the Prometheus Helm chart already. So we don't need to install the push gateway explicitly. We can verify that with kubectl get pods in the monitoring namespace where we install the Prometheus. As you can see, this is the push gateway pod running. Also, we have corresponding service associated with this push gateway pod. As you can see, this is the push gateway service which is running on 9091 port. So let's port forward this service to access Prometheus push gateway. kubectl port forward service slash service name. Let's access it on 9091 port and the service is running on 9091 port which is in the monitoring namespace. So now let's go to the browser and access our push gateway which is running on 9091 port. Localhost 9091. There you go. This is the push gateway UI. If you go to the status tab, we can see that it is started at this time. And in the metrics tab, we can see the metrics that are pushed to the push gateway. So now let's try to push some metrics to the push gateway. We can push metrics to this push gateway with an SDK or an API. So let's open the postman and this is the URL to which we should send the metrics. This is the base URL of our push gateway and this is the endpoint to which we should push the metrics and this is the job name. And here we are attaching another label to our metrics whose key name is instance and value is patch server. Like this we can keep on adding the labels to our metrics. Now label1 and value1 also gets attached to our metric and in the body section we should select the raw and text and here we should paste our metric data. Here if you see this, this is in the Prometheus format. This is of counter type and the metric name is to do underscore import underscore total and here we are sending the metric value with the status label as success and here we are sending the status label as failure. In the same way we are pushing the histogram metric and also gauge metric. While we are manually pushing here for testing from Postman, in real time our short lived applications push these metrics. Now let's hit the send button. As you can see we got the 200 status code. That means these metrics are pushed to the push gateway. Now let's go to the push gateway UI and refresh these metrics. As you can see we got this group with the label job, instance and the label 1. Let's click on this to see the metrics inside this group. As you can see we have three different types of metrics that we pushed histogram, counter and gauge. Let's expand this counter again. In this again to each metric all the labels are associated like instance, job and label 1 and also the status label that we passed from the postman and these are the histogram metrics. 
Now Prometheus creates this push gateway. For that, we need to add this push gateway as a target in the Prometheus configuration. So let's go to the terminal and see the definition of the Prometheus configuration. kubectl get config map with the name Prometheus iPhone server in the monitoring namespace in YAML format. As you can see, there is a job already defined in the Prometheus server configuration to scrape the metrics from the push gateway. So we don't need to do anything extra. If you are not able to understand what this configuration is, I would suggest you to watch the service discovery chapter of this series. This says that scrape all the services, which has an annotation of prometheus.io slash probe and whose value is push gateway. We can verify if our push gateway has this annotation. As you can see, this annotation is present on this service. So Prometheus scrapes the metrics from this push gateway. So let's go to the Prometheus UI. For that, we need to port forward the Prometheus server and go to the browser and localhost 1990. Here, let's try to search for the metric that we pushed to the push gateway to do underscore import. As you can see, we can see all the metrics that are pushed to the push gateway. If you can see, these are the metrics that we pushed to the push gateway. You can also see their values. Now let's try to change these values. Let's go to the postman and change this one to 1001, 2005. Now let's go to the push gateway and refresh the metrics. Expand this and expand this counter metric. And as you can see, the value is 1005. We can see the same thing in the Prometheus UI because Prometheus is scraping the push gateway. Execute. As you can see, the value is changed to 1005. Push Gateway also provides few other APIs like to delete a metric group or to delete all the metrics. Please explore them by going through the documentation. That's it for this chapter. I'm sure that you found it informative. Stay tuned for more such cool content. My name is Pawan Tepu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the content, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.